Hi, everyone. Welcome to Living in Denver, Colorado. Today, we are actually going to be covering a town, a suburb of Denver called Highlands Ranch, Colorado. So we are going to pull up a map of Highlands Ranch on my computer, walk you through it, show you uh, where it is in the city, where it is in relation to the state, and uh, give you an idea of what's around and what the city of Highlands Ranch, Colorado has to offer you. So stick around till the end. And I'm also going to give you some information about uh, the inside numbers of Highlands Ranch, some census data, some housing market status uh, data, that type of information. If this is your first time to our channel, we are so glad to have you. Uh, we, and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Denver, Colorado, especially today in Highlands Ranch, Colorado, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about all the market conditions in Denver, Colorado. My name is Michelle Wise, my partner Cheryl Crown, and I are living in Denver, Colorado. I do the map tours and you'll catch her on a couple other videos. So stick around. We get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make the move to Denver, Colorado. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us an email, or send us a text. Our contact information is all in the description below so that we can give you all the information you need to know about living in Denver, Colorado. While we are realtors here in the state of Colorado, our main goal with this, these videos is just to give you an overview of each city and what each city offers so that you can make a smooth and easy transition and move to Denver, Colorado. Let's jump into this. So you will see here, Highlands Ranch, Colorado is located on this southern end edge of Denver, the Denver metro area. So here, Denver is quite large and uh, covers pretty much this entire section right here that I'm going to show you. So the metro area is kind of this whole big, whoops, a little short there, area here of Colorado. So you'll hear locals call it the metro, the metro area, metro Denver. Uh, all those apply to just basically this quadrant of the state. And Highlands Ranch, again, is right down here. This little red line right here covers the southern bottom portion of the metro Denver area. And Highlands Ranch is unique because it's one of the few cities here in the Denver metro area that is pretty much an entirely planned community. So uh, it used to be a working ranch years and years ago, hence the reason Highlands Ranch. But once developers started coming in in probably the 80s and 90s, late 80s, 90s, they actually developed this whole town pre-planned every single road pretty much, every nuance of this town that you could imagine. And it was uh, based some criticism by people, but it also uh, was garnered by others that really liked the idea of being so forward thinking and proactive with the planning of a community. So the location is great. If you look here, covers a, this highway right along the southern edge is 470 and that loops pretty much the entire metro area so from here to here uh roughly actually from here up to about here it's free but then they added this section that loops the city all the way around all the way up here uh, that's a toll road so when you're in highlands ranch you have the ability to move about the greater metro area via this 470 stretch that's free or you can jump on the tolled portion of 470 that takes you out to the airport the airport's right here it's going to take you depending on which side of highlands ranch you're on it's going to take you a good 20 30 35 minutes to get out to the airport you can cut through the city on some other highways, I-25 up to 225 and over. It's gonna take you a little bit longer though, because those are a lot more congested interstates than 470 is. Also, to get around the state, it's got great proximity because again, you can jump on 470, take it around up here, get on I-70 to head up to the mountains. This is all of our skiing over in this section. Uh, there you can jump on 285, takes you to great some great mountain towns. Uh, take it down here, cut through into Castle Pines or 
onto I-25 this way, take it all the way south into Colorado Springs in New Mexico, or, you know, follow it up uh, on I-25 and take it all the way through the city up north, past Denver, past Fort Collins, into Wyoming, wherever you want to go. One thing to keep in mind is depending on where you are working, there is some interesting options here. Nice thing about Highlands Ranch. Some of our other cities are very one arterial centered. So you have one way in, one way out from the big arterials like the interstates. Highlands Ranch, because it was, I think that last planned master community has a couple different options. So if you're working in downtown Denver, which is right here, you can take, this is called Santa Fe, and you can take that up and get into Denver. Real easy there, Highway 85 is Santa Fe. Uh, there is also the option of jumping on 470 and then taking it up by 25. If you work in what we know as the Denver Tech Center, which is a Southern business district, it's about right here. You'd have some different options to get to that fairly easy, whether it's some of the roads or the interstates, but you have a lot of uh, flexibility, I guess, when you're living in Highlands Ranch because of that planned feeling and, and development that it has. Uh, another nice thing about Highlands Ranch is your proximity to the mountains. All of this green area is the beginning of the foothills over here to the left, and you have almost immediate access to those with multiple different avenues that you can get up into the mountains from. And then further south into our Southern Roxboro State Park is a beautiful park. It has lots of hiking trails. You can go to Chatfield, which is just right here and it butts it basically. And there's a lake with boating, uh, paddle boarding, hiking, trailing, trails, biking. Uh, that is pretty much in your backyard, as is this park right here called Daniels Park. So this is another great outdoor area for all of us Coloradans that love to be in the outdoors. You're also close to uh, another lake called Cherry Creek. It's actually a reservoir and it's over here. Real simple to get to. Just jump on the highway on I-25, get off, boating, biking, paddle boarding, all those outdoor activities again. And so great location. You have the ability to, to zip away to the mountains, get away from the hustle and bustle of the city fairly easy, or take advantage of city life and everything that Denver has to offer. Even within the city, there's a lot of outdoor options for you. Let's jump in a little deeper into Highlands Ranch here. As I mentioned, is that master plan community. So you'll have anything and everything you could want. There's tons of retail, tons of golf courses. This is golf course, regional parks, Dad Clark Park, Southbridge Recreation. Uh, there's a golf club over here. The options are unlimited. One of the interesting and unique things about Hans Ranch is that when it was master planned and master developed, they created a recreation system to go with that. So no matter where you live in Highlands Ranch, part of one of your fees that you pay is the community fee. So that gives you access to, I think it's three different rec centers now, all the parks and rec activities. So that's just something that's very unique. I, I It's hard to find a community like that, uh, at least here in Colorado, that has that built in. But this uh, Highlands Ranch does, and uh, people love it. it. It's just, you know, rec centers, swimming pools, athletics. People really, really seem to enjoy that for the people that live there. When I talk to people that are looking to move to Highlands Ranch and I ask them, you know, why why Highlands Ranch? Why are you picking that? A lot of them will say a couple things. They say, one, it's the school districts. Uh, Highlands Ranch is part of Douglas County and therefore has very highly rated school districts. So those people that have families or kids, it's really important to them. Second, they really like the proximity to the mountains. So it gives them that suburban feel. Uh, with all the amenities, shops, restaurants, Costco, Sam's Club, the mall, Target, grocery stores, you name it. They like having those conveniences, but then they like to be able to jump on the highway and go skiing in the afternoon or skiing for the weekend without having to sit in traffic to get through the city to get to the mountains. So that's a big thing. And the third is they like, people really tend to like this planned community idea. So, um, you know, there's arterial roads, all these roads take you through, um, you know, into the cut throughs and getting around the town itself. One of the biggest reasons that I didn't, and I just didn't mention it right there is that I hear people wanting to move to Highlands Ranch is a lot of the houses are built within the last 25, 30, 
40 years. So while in some instances that may sound like an old home, you're not in the, the really older homes that have some more of the building issues, things of that nature. But that was when they started Highlands Ranch. So everything's approximately that age or newer. So if you want that brand new house, there are a lot of builders building in Highlands Ranch right now, and you can definitely get that. A lot of the neighborhoods, because they are a little bit, you know, a couple decades old, they have mature trees, they have mature landscaping. Um, so it's got a little bit more of that feel, which people really tend to like. The conveniences of, of having an established neighborhood, but not so established that you know, you're having to worry about building problems and things of that nature. So that's one of the things they really like. So if you look here, there's, this is pretty much predominantly all neighborhood. So depending on what you're looking for, Hounds Ranch definitely has it. They have condos, apartments, townhouses, single family homes, large acreage homes that are over millions of dollars. The, the variety is endless really. And it's wound in here so that it's, it's intermingled and there are pocket neighborhoods and pocket communities, uh, not just these big areas right here where there's a lot, there's Target and, you know, grocery stores and restaurants and office depots and same thing over here. Uh, there's pockets of grocery stores and shops, restaurants, fast food, coffee shops, all tucked in throughout uh, Highlands Ranch here. Now that pretty much sums up that you have great proximity to this section over here, which uh, is not Highlands Ranch, but there's a mall, there's an Ikea, uh, Costco, American Furniture Warehouse, hotels. So if you have family coming in to visit that wants to stay out of town, stay in from out of town, but you don't quite have room for them, there's lots of hotels in the area. It's just a win-win for most of our clients that live there. So with that, let's jump into a little bit of information about Highlands Ranch. Let's see what it tells us here. So this is part of the census, uh, United States Census Bureau, and it's going to give us some numbers here. So in 2020, Highlands Ranch had 103,000 people. So that's really grown. There's a lot of growth going on and Castle Rock and Highlands Ranch have gone back and forth. Uh, Castle Rock's one of the other cities we cover that's uh, a little further south as to being the most populous. Um, so it probably depends on any given year, which one is the most populous because of people moving in, a lot of land. Uh, you'll notice here on the southern edges of, of the metro area, we have the option for, you know, undeveloped areas. So there's, there's growth, you know, there's a lot of growth in these neighborhoods. And as you get, one thing I did not mention is as you get through these, this is a hilly rat ravine ravine is that a word ravine area so you're getting a lot of houses that back to open space walkways in between there's not a lot of straight streets if you'll notice that on the map here and that's because of these ravines that the builders have to work around so in these neighborhoods uh you know you'll sit up on a hill or a bluff and then you know you'll have a a ravine down behind to give you that open space that they can't build on so a lot of open space backing houses or uh green belts in this in Highlands ranch but Going back over to what I was saying about the population, uh, in 2020, it was 103,000 people. And so, you know, it very well could be the most populous now. Uh, you know, you hear different things on different sites. Average median income is over $137,000 per year. And that was in 2021. Most of the people here are highly educated and uh, have employment. Uh, and it's, again, mix of families, single, elderly, empty nesters, you have it. Um, it's all it's all mixed up in Highlands Ranch. So great place to be with, no matter who you are. And then if you look at the market currently in Highlands Ranch, this average home price is $666,000. So very similar to uh, a lot of these other Southern suburbs of Denver. They're all in that same general price range, uh, but that's still, you know, 
a nice price tag, you know, if you're coming from back east or the west coast, if you're coming from, you know, the rural Midwest, that might be a little bit of a sticker shock to you. But there are some other options, as I mentioned. Um, this right now is the smallest home that's available on the market. So there probably are smaller, but this one's a thousand square feet, two bed, two bath uh, unit in uh, Highlands Ranch. And this currently is the largest at over 11,000 square feet with six beds, nine baths uh, in Highlands Ranch beautiful home there and you give this house right here gives you a great idea of what the um when i was talking about having some open space and and uh the ravines and so forth behind you um most affordable here is one for 340 so that 400 price range is definitely not the most the cheapest you can find there are lower price point homes this is just the smallest in size of square footage so that one obviously looks a little newer than potentially this one uh which is probably the difference in the price because they're pretty similar otherwise and uh yeah so that kind of covers highlands ranch um don't forget to like us and subscribe down below tap the bell for notifications send us uh contact request if you want to get some more information on living in Denver. Again, we're here to help make that as easy of a transition as possible, but mostly more important, just here to inform you. So until next time, we look forward to seeing you. Have a great day.